Hey, it's uh, Monday, 1st March, and <laughs> I just remembered that I forgot to vlog today and I was just here suffering because I watched um, four episodes of uh, Thousand Autumns. It's a Chinese anime, I guess. It's Well, it's 3D and blah blah. Well, it, it looks kind of a bit uh, cheaper than uh, the stuff which people are drawing, <laughs> but I don't care. And God, the main characters and the plot. I can't, so like I watched the four episodes and I really want to know the plot. First, I thought that I would uh, search for the plot, just the description, because I didn't want to read the book and since it's something new, they don't have that yet and then I was like, okay, fine, I'll read the book, it has like 200 chapters, fine, we've seen more but the book is not translated fully I think it almost is translated in a like raw version, but raw version usually when it's from Chinese, at least for me, it's really hard to read. Like it's already hard to read with all those different names and so now I'm kinda of suffering because I wanna know now. And I have no choice but to wait <laughs> and I hate it. I wanna know. Oh, God, this is so annoying. So today was... yeah, what was I doing today? I need to tell you guys what I was doing today. I don't remember. Second. Mm. Oh yeah, I was editing the Q&A video. And then I also... I wrote to the pillow manufacturer, they told me they had um, re re oh, my English is like broken, I think, more broken than usual. So the prices now are higher, but they're not like a lot higher, so it's fine. And then I also need to contact and uh, make an order for the pillow filling, because I decided that I will buy it uh, earlier. Then I ordered pillows, because why not, in case they ran, ran out of it and then I'm like all, only left with the pillowcases. <laughs> I wouldn't want that to happen. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna send out the remaining uh, Patreon rewards, which came in during the weekend. And uh, also some of the orders that I have. Oh crap, I should not have done that. This was supposed to be my print <laughs> with the best to know. And yeah, I think I need to throw it out because it's just... <laughs> like, it's been there for like three days and I still get this. So you can say hello to the sashimi though. He's here with me. I waited him for today because I needed to know how much of a filling should I order. So he helped me. 
today is Tuesday and um, already in the middle of the day and I have finished my Yuri on Ice charm the design for Victor uh, candy charm and now I'm thinking should I do Yuri? <laughs> not I'm not sure again probably if you're watching all of my videos you see that I'm not sure most of my time Funny thing, today in the morning, uh, when I was cutting my nails with the scissors, my scissors kind of slipped out of my hand and cut my finger. And that reminded me, you'll probably want to hear, like, you don't probably want to hear this, but I will tell you anyway, because it reminded me two other times when I had cut myself and they were like ridiculous, for example, one time when I was unpacking this chair, I cut my hand uh, with the all this chair's arm part, this one. I don't know, but below there, I just, yeah, I just managed to cut myself with the chair. <laughs> and another time was uh, I cut myself with this piece of soap. <laughs> well. It was uh, dry and had cracks in it, and somehow I managed to, yeah, cut myself really badly with it. I don't know. But, professional cutter here. So, the rest of the day I'll be drawing... Um, I plan to draw characters from the Thousand Autumns the Chinese anime that I watched yesterday and got really inspired, so which watch out for that one. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, I remember that I have uh, filed a request for the pillow filling today, and I think I need to check my email to see if the the manufacturer of that stuff responded and yeah, since it's local, I'll just have to go and pick it up tomorrow or day after tomorrow e, then I will have that for sure Hey, today is Wednesday and uh, I have arrived at the manufacturer for the pillow filling but I'm 8 minutes earlier, so I don't think they're open yet I, I'm not sure. I think there is like it's not even a shop. It's there is like a door into the building, like really old building. This looks creep to me, but that's fine. Oh yeah, the mask. Almost forgot. can go and let's see if I will be able to carry those five kilos of the filling for now. <laughs> I'm back. Look at this big package. That's like only five kilos. Oh god. It's good that I didn't take more. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll probably show you a little bit of my way back and and tell you my experience. <laughs> it was interesting. So apparently this whole. Uh, that building, all the old building that I showed you, that's the whole place. Because, well, I went to the second floor and uh, there was this... <laughs> I don't know, he reminds me so much of Grandpa and uh, I just couldn't help myself but have all those soft feelings. <laughs> Anyways, 
So basically, he took me to the first uh, first floor, and then through some rooms, and there were like those big old machines, apparently that make all that fluff and stuff, fluff and stuff. <laughs> sounds, sounds good. So, and then uh, yeah, like I was going there, and it's like dark. There wasn't any lights, and I was like. Okay, if if he just decides to kill me somewhere here and bury in all the, that fluff, nobody will know where I am. So I was like a bit panicking because it was so dark. Oh, oh God. So dark and no one is there. And he's like just taking me to a room somewhere far from entrance. It was kind of scary. But all was good. He was a good person. <laughs> he didn't do anything like that. Um, yeah, he just uh, took a big bag and uh, piled those five kilos into it. With yeah, with my help. So <laughs> I basically just stood there with a the bag, and he just grabbed a really huge bag of all this fluff and uh, just poured. A part of it there and uh, yeah here we are now I I have the filling for the pillows now all I need to do is get those pillows <laughs> but uh, that would explain actually why they don't really have an entrance to a shop because yeah it's it's not a shop it's literally a manufacturer he produces it there and he he sells it through, I guess, through internet mainly to other companies. So, yeah, I mean, I guess um, people can also buy stuff for their uh, own projects, but mainly probably companies. So I was drawing the sky and see the belt? It's blue. And I just noticed it now. And BAM! It's white. What the hell? Well, I'm gonna stick with white probably, but that's confusing. Hey, so it's the... It's the... Blah, 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 blah. It's the end of Wednesday, and... Since tomorrow I'll be editing this vlog, I wanted to say bye, and the next one. <laughs>